it's something I never imagined it will happen. But you know, things do happen for a reason. And whatever reason that there is, you just need to take it as it is. I had a good life. It's a normal life. My parents are not that rich, but I never go to bed hungry. The people, the food, you can go to the beach, spend the whole day there. It's, it's, a, good, it's a nice place, very, very nice place. It all started like in school. I was accused of being associated, associated with gays because of the religious beliefs of the people. It's a taboo to even talk about it. So when I heard about it, I just ran. I spoke to my mom and then my mom confirmed that there's no need for me to come back again because everybody, everybody is looking for me and stuff like that. So I flew all the way from Ghana to Brazil. And then I got to Sao Paulo. We were robbed twice. Somebody was shot. Everybody was broke. We could not continue on the journey. I have to work myself, work in the market, and then get money. I joined some Africans and then some Haitians to Mexico, uh, to Texas. They asked all of us where we are coming from. And we gave them our name and where we are coming from. And then they took my birth certificate. They said, oh, you are under age. You are not supposed to be traveling alone. When they were moving me to from that facility, they told me there's no facility for children here. So they will have to take me to another place. It seemed like a prison. You sleep on a concrete floor, very cold. They can also not keep me there for a long time. They are going to take me to a place that Anytime they need me, they can have access to me. So that was how I got to Chicago. When I came here, the only thing I have was my birth certificate. They were able to help me get my IDs, enroll in a school. I was able to get my driving licenses, get to work, buy a car. In less than two years, I found an apartment in which I've been staying for a while. Ibrahim came into my office and said, so I got an apartment, here's the lease. I paid the first month's rent and deposit. Uh, oh, and I bought a car selfishly almost, I'm like, you know, I, I, want, I want to help you or whatever. That's just who Ibrahim, Ibrahim is, you know. He, if he doesn't think that he needs it, he won't, he won't take it. He takes only what he, what he needs. Very, first of all, I'm very, very grateful to God. And then second, I'm very, very grateful to this program. This program also contributed to me getting that particular apartment. This program has really, really, really helped me, not only me a lot of people. I wish I could have brought other people. I'm very, very grateful. Very, very grateful for this program. And I'll say thank you for everybody who has made this program what is it now. Thank you so much. <laughs>